Bengaluru's food scene is exploding. The city has something to offer for everyone, from Naga to Kashmiri, Japanese to Brazilian. The culinary scene of the city is as diverse as it gets. This is no secret. But for some reason, the food of the Muslims of Bengaluru has stayed out of public view. In the last two episodes, we visited the kitchens of the Muslims in the city to see what they eat. From simple vegetarian meals to cut, the food is diverse yet simple. Today, I'm going to take you to a locality that is synonymous with Muslim-style street food. No surprises here, we are going to Shivajinagar. Let's go. As you know, I'm here today for a specific reason. I want to see if all these eateries actually sell Dakni food that is made at Muslim homes in the city. There's a lot of food to be had here and I'm going to need a little bit of help. I've invited a special person to join me today and it definitely helps that he knows this place like the back of his hand. So Chef Asula, are you ready? I'm definitely ready. Thank you Asura. Thank you for uh, getting me involved in this uh, uh, particular project about exploring Bangalore Muslim food. And we are in the epicenter of the Dakini food. But today I'm going to take you to a place which, uh, you know, does a hundred percent justice to this food. For that we have to do a little bit of walking today because they are very tiny beany lanes okay. to walk around. So let's explore. I hope you're excited. Definitely. Fasiulla is a Bangladesh chef. He started his kitchen studio as an experimental space and his deep interest in Dakni cuisine has him researching for a book these days. Okay, I think finally we are here at uh, Pradod BC. Okay, it is a very small, if you see it's a small place, very small in terms, nothing fancy but the one of the best kinds of foods you will get over here. Okay, please welcome. Yes. When the canteen began in 1994, Ayaza's father had one mission. He wanted to provide homemade food at an affordable price. Even after 30 years, the basic menu continues to be a hot favourite with the locals. There are a lot of hotels in Shivaji Nagar. Alhamdulillah, there are a lot of hotels in Delhi. BC is very low. BC means a bachelor canteen. BC is very low. There is a lot of food here. There is a lot of food here. There is a lot of ready-made food. We have to take the new food from Delhi. We have to take the new food from Delhi. फ्रेश मसाले पीस के जैसे नार्मल घर में बनाते हैं ऐसे बनते हैं हमारे यहाँ पे तो हम लोगों के घर में कट कुफ्ते बनते हैं बोटी का सालना पकता है यही यही आइटम हम लोग होटल में भी स्टार्ट किए हमारा टेस्ट होटल से अलग रहता है होटल में खाएंगे तो एक दो दो बार खा सकते हैं यहाँ का हर वक्त हर दिन बिरयानी खा सकते हैं Bangalore Muslim food is so much more than biryani. But biryani obviously plays a very important role in the culture. So, uh, the most famous dish technically is became the biryani because other people from other communities have made the biryani famous by eating in the shadis and all that. Yeah. That's why the biryani, Bangalore Muslim style biryani has become more popular and this has not come out because it is not being served in the mainstream restaurants and hotels. And you'll find it in something places like these. हमारा पाय का बिरयानी पैर 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 जो होता है ना वगैरह का पैर का बिरयानी फेमस चिकन का बिरयानी पड़ता है फेमस फेमस एकदम फेमस आर्डर देके जाता है। So why don't we try a little bit of the authentic Bangalore biryani too? Yeah, here it comes. It does smell like the shadi ki biryani. Yeah, it does yeah. smell like the shadi ki biryani. Very light on the palate compared to the other biryanis in the region. Because we don't use too much of garam masala in the biryani. Yeah. Chef, I'm sure our die-hard biryani fans would love to learn how to make this biryani. Would you be kind enough to give us a few tips? We'll wrap this up and I'll show you how to make a simple biryani. And you can ask me questions or anything regarding a biryani. I'll help you solve it. After a very big lunch, Chef Fasiullah and I set off to make some Bengaluru style shadi ki biryani.
Today we are making a very simple Bangalore Muslim biryani mm. and you know shaadi ki biryani you yes. can say or dakhni dawat ki biryani is what everyone's been calling it nowadays definitely but um, this take on my biryani it's very very simple it uh, has very minimal ingredients let's get okay started, let's get started the first process would be to wash and soak our the rice so today we are using usually bangalore biryani any kind of south biryani we are using zira samba rice which is very typical to south of india and we use this rice because it has a very good nice flavor aroma and it is a native rice to the south of india okay so the first process would be wash and soak the rice at least wash it in 3 times in water and soak it for at least half an hour to an hour so the first very important ingredient will be starting by adding the oil okay so for a biryani oil is a very key ingredient you can't do kanjusi in adding oil today we are making uh, we are making a kilo of lamb cheap okay. and we are doing 1 kilo of rice okay so i'll be using a minimum of 250 ml of oil cinnamon cardamom and cloves are added to the oil these are the only three spices used in the dakhni biryani uh, biryani is from andhra biryani is from kerala have a lot of whole spices in them and the biryani is from the north the avadi biryani the lucknowi palav they also have about a lot of whole spices in them that's why you get the heat from okay but uh, in this biryani the recipe calls for just three spices very okay. very simple it's the timing of the ingredients what you ask add into the biryani next 200 to 300 grams of sliced onion is added and fried until golden brown it's very important for the onion to brown okay. because that is where the flavor lies is this what is called brista or yeah brista also when you fry it and remove it and keep it aside okay. it's brista it's a, again a persian word biryani usually has traveled if you talk about the history of biryani it has traveled from persia it was brought by the persians to into india and uh, basically biryani is a perfect marriage of a persian concept and indian ingredients once the onions are nearly caramelized add chopped mint and coriander leaves Now why we add this is also to cut the heat okay and stop the caramelization of the onion yeah. so at this level the caramelization stops okay and also you can smell the fresh aroma of the mint and coriander yeah. which is coming out 5 teaspoons of freshly ground ginger garlic paste is added next 2 teaspoons of red chili powder and coriander powder are also added after this the meat is added So even the cut of the lamb, as I said, is very important. So I'm using today uh, the chest. I'm using the nalli, okay. okay, and the shank, the front shoulder, yeah. and the neck. These cuts are softer and give a nice flavor to the flavor lamb. To the okay. Right. Salt is added at this stage, and the meat is cooked well. See, when you are making a biryani, you know it's very yeah. important that you control the moisture in it. Mm. So probably I, we will build the moisture with use of tomatoes, mm. a little bit of uh, curds. and a little bit water because it's slam just because it's slam people what they do is they tend to use a pressure cooker to make the masala yeah. and all that but if given the right treatment it can be cooked mm. just the way it is it needs high flame for 10 minutes and slow flame for about 15 20 minutes mm. it'll be ready by then next sliced onions coriander mint leaves and two green chilies are ground coarsely in a mixer this is then added to the meat so chef What would be the star ingredient of the Bangalore biryani? Definitely the meat. The meat. Because if the meat is not good, if you get a tough animal or a, this one, it will take the longest time to cook. And probably if your selection of meat cuts is not defined, hmm. then probably your biryani won't taste because your meat will be rubbery and all that, and it'll become you'll have a dry biryani. At this point, if the meat or the masala sticks to the vessel, you could add a little water to deglaze it. The meat is cooked for at least 10 to 15 minutes. While the meat simmered away, I asked Chef Fasiullah where he learned to cook biryani. I have grown up literally with the our family cook he when he used to make the biryanis at the this one and he was a very big inspiration on me because the way he used to manage heat because cooking on gas is very very simple exactly. but cooking a biryani on a fire wood is lot more technical so I enjoyed being a kid observing these things and a uh, learning how to other uh, art that also you know also give me techniques they shared a lot yeah, of techniques yeah. 
and the cooks the, that's how you know i've improvised and started making that's so who makes better biryani at home today you your wife your mom that's a very tricky question i'll skip that <laughs> <laughs> so so you see you know now the meat is almost roasted curd is added next roughly 200 ml of curd gives the biryani the tartness it needs so curd is a very prominent part ingredient in the biryani because uh, it's used in most of the biryanis across north and south um but also see biryani usually are two different types there is kachi biryani and there is pakki biryani okay. this is the akhni what we are making okay. this is pakki akhni pakki is in hindi is cooking yeah cooked yeah kachi is raw hmm. so that's why when you make a hyderabadi biryani it's called is kachche gosht ki biryani kachche murki biryani okay. because what happens is that that meat it does not mean that the meat is raw when you are eating it just be because they marinate the meat when it's raw and they add all the fried onions curds right. all the masalas yeah. in that and they marinate it and leave it and then they add the rice on top and slow cook it because it is marinated if they're making a lamb they add papaya paste because papaya has an enzyme called papain which helps right. to tenderize the meat yeah. so that the thing what they use and hmm. that this biryani basically no marination no marination required directly The meat in the akhni is only partially cooked at this stage. Once it is half cooked and has blended well with the curd, a cup of tomatoes is added and left to cook for 20 minutes on a slow fire. So, it's almost been 15-20 minutes since we left it on slow fire. Okay? Now you can see the oil everything has yes. come on top. Yeah. And I'll just take a one one good piece and I'll just check whether it's just cooked. So, the meat is breaking see here. It's yeah. breaking, so it's about seventy, sixty to seventy percent cooked. Yeah. At this point of time, um, we, add I have, we add the rice. The meat is left to cook on a separate burner, and the rice, which has been soaking for an hour, is added to boiling water. The proportion of rice to water is one is to two, preferably cooked in a large vessel. Salt is added at this stage. As Chef Fasilullah told me, the water should be as salty as sea water. For that extra freshness, throw in a few mint leaves and parboil the rice. While the rice cooks, drain the oil from the akhni and sprinkle garam masala. Next, add the parboiled rice to the meat. If you see the rice is not fully cooked. Yeah. Because it will get cooked from the moisture what the masala is there will generate the moisture with yeah. it and then it will get cooked. Okay? Got it. I've all added all the rice. Yeah. I'll shift this. Okay now we'll bring it back to the flame so when you're cooking the biryani it is probably when you start off it is high flame for the first 10 minutes Achha. and then lower the flame Got why it. is because we are generating the steam okay okay hmm. and just what i'm doing is just tucking tucking in yeah. the rice yeah. okay now what i'll do is the oil the oil yes yeah, i've seen my mom from the this. top and is this where the color comes from mostly yeah the color comes from this usually most of the cooks add a little bit of food coloring and all that mm. and little bit about two spoons of ghee okay cover it for the time how long will it take now it will take about 15 minutes 15 minutes from now okay. five flame so we're not doing any such thing like because the bottom of the pan is heavy yeah also you have to keep in mind that when you're doing a biryani mm. is you need to have a heavy vessel okay heavy bottom vessel and a tight lid mm. two important things when you're making a biryani because if you have a very thin vessel things will start yeah. to stick and burn where does this biryani mainly draw inspiration from see the biryani as a concept itself especially it draws its inspiration from uh, tamil nadu the king of our court this is largely a influence from there which has come okay, okay our biryani is ready finally now it's time yes to taste and savor it bon appetit <laughs> enjoy thank you so as you can see our lovely dakhni muslim biryani is ready shall we have a taste definitely Please. okay come
chef the biryani was absolutely amazing this Thank is the kind so of much. biryani i grew up eating the biryani that my family absolutely loves give them this three times a day they'll have it <laughs> thank you i'm too obliged thank you so much for coming and and thank you so much for letting us know the importance of keeping these recipes alive it is so important to teach the next generation to carry forward these recipes otherwise yeah it will be happens? lost yeah. you know because uh, it's a culture it's a tradition it's a it's a memory mm. it's a, it's what you've grown up on mm. so it's always things like these things which give you uh, where you can travel back in time exactly. and uh, know what your culture is and yeah. where it comes from yeah. it is basically what we are and what we have grown up eating yeah. it merges it with your identity exactly. and uh, your ethnicity yeah. where you come from so food speaks of volumes about that definitely food always has the biggest loudest the loveliest of stories to tell For the die-hard biryani fans sitting at home, check the description below for the lovely biryani recipe shared by Chef Fasiullah. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Deccan Herald YouTube channel.